Follow the yellow brick road in L. Frank Baum's classic, The Wizard of Oz, which comes alive this weekend at La Crosse Community Theater. And joining us with what we can look forward to is Alex Atardo. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us and talking about a favorite for many of us, The Wizard yes. of Oz. It's a classic, but I know you, Alex, you like to put your own spin on things. So what might we see that looks a little different from the classic that we all know and love? Yeah, so when I found out that I was directing this piece it's one that I've been passionate about it's one that a lot of people grew up with have a lot of nostalgia for and when I started to really like delve into the show I wanted to really take it back to the book so I'm setting it turn of the century when the book was written and we took a lot of inspiration from dreams and what it's like to have dreams and how we have things that are from our present that kind of make their way into this dream world and we explore the decades throughout it. So Oz is a place where Dorothy gets to see the past and also gets to see the future of things that she may not experience. It was written initially for his niece that um, died very, very early and her name was Dorothy. So I started by saying, what would she experience if she were alive? And then kind of went from there. An interesting perspective and a way that you draw on it as a director and you're working with a pretty big cast. <laughs> yes, I have a cast of 48 and my littlest is seven and then I work with people that are also retired, which is just amazing. It's a huge multi-generational cast that spans almost eight decades. It's, you kind of have to learn to adapt to you know each person and really work with those actors and one-on-one -on -one to, get, to get what you want to see out of them. Uh, what are you hoping that the audience takes away from these performances, Alex? Yeah, I know Wizard of Oz is kind of a non-traditional Christmas story, but I think the themes about Wizard of Oz are super relatable to Christmas. Things like family, appreciating what you have, and really understanding there is no place like home. And so I really hope that the audience leaves with a sense of family chosen or related, blood related family. So why, why not spend it with the people you love and care about? That's what it's all about at the end of the day, isn't it, Alex? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning and talking about this. It's gonna be a spectacle. You won't wanna miss it. We'll have ticket information over on our website. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. Lots of new stuff that we're doing for the first time in the theater.